get you some. Oh, yeah. Mate, it's lucky she can cook. Wow! G'day, lovelies. Welcome back. All right. It's windy and cold today. Perfect day for baking. So I've always used my square cake tin to make the small one. Now, this is a seven cup tin. So if you don't have a square cake tin, you can use a round one, but you don't want to use a springform tin with the loose bases because you'll just have shit everywhere. It doesn't have to be a tin either. It can be any sort of little oven dish, but you want a shallow one like that is, and you want a seven cup. All right, you want to get your dish and make sure you've got a big oven dish that you can sit it in comfortably. Because bread and butter pudding is a custard, we need the dish in the water to keep it from going all dry. Preheat your oven to 160 degrees Celsius. Now for the recipe, you can use the bread with the crust on or the crust off. You can use it stale or fresh. So back in the olden days, what we used to do is every time there was a few slices of bread left over or they were stale, is we just freeze them and then once you had a heap freezed up, you had enough to make a few bread and butter puddings. Alright, I'm going to do this one with the crust on. So what we want to do first is get your first bit of bread and we just want to put a nice thin layer of butter or margarine on. And then place it in our tray. And then just cut them all to fit and layer one layer on the bottom. Now it doesn't have to be neat, it just has to cover the whole bottom nice and flat. Now we want to sprinkle as little or as many sultanas as you want. If you don't like many, you don't have to put many in. If you don't like sultanas, you can always use any other sort of dried fruit. Just cut it up to the size of sultanas. But I'm just doing it exactly how Nana used to. Then we want to get our plain white sugar and sprinkle a tiny little bit all over. Now we butter our next lot of bread and I like to like, instead of doing it exactly how it was last time, I'll sort of swap it around a bit so the layers are all covered over. So I'll put this one this side and then we just keep going and once right. our second layer is done, we want to do the same thing. This time I'm just going to push it down a little bit because we want the third layer. Okay, for the top one, we're just going to sprinkle a bit of the plain sugar over and we're going to set it aside for a minute. Now into a jug, we want to crack three eggs whisk them up. Now we want to add half a cup of caster sugar and whisk that in. Almost forgot the one important ingredient, vanilla extract. And if you don't have extract, you can always use essence. One teaspoon and whisk that through. Now we want to add three cups of milk and we want to whisk that through really well. Once that's done, move it away, grab out our big oven dish tray thingy, put our little one in it. All right, give your custard one more quick whisk. Now we just pour it all over slowly and as we're doing it, get it into all the gaps and up first, the bread will soak up the custard. So take your time and if it starts filling up too much, wait a minute until the bread sucked it up and then go again. Alrighty, once we've got every last drop over, we want to get some nutmeg. Now, if you don't like nutmeg, you can always sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon. As little as much as you like. All right, so I'll just move that over for a minute. So I want to fill the outside dish up and I want to fill it with water until it's just halfway up our inside dish. Now our oven should be up to temperature, so we want to very carefully pick the whole thing up and put it in the oven for one hour. Oh yeah, baby! Exactly one hour later in my plain electric oven. Now I'm just going to take it out and put it on the sink because the steam will steam it all up. So with a tea towel, I'll pull it out and then get a tea towel ready to sit on because it's wet. Mate, all I can smell right now are memories. <laughs> so you'd normally serve it warm. Um, you can leave it and then when it goes completely cold, you can wrap it in glad wrap and stick it in the fridge. And it's beautiful to eat cold as well. And it will last three to four days easy. <laughs> Oh, my. It just doesn't get any better than this for old school cooking, I'm telling you. 
the most simplest things were the most comfortable. Well, there you have it, lovelies. Nana's iconic bread and butter pudding. Give it a crack. You won't be disappointed. It will be one of your family favourites. Alrighty, up next, jam bread and butter pudding. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have yourselves an awesome evening, and we'll see you really soon. Toodles.